Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 24th of December 1826, the Eggnog Riot broke out at the United States Military Academy in West Point, New York, after more than three gallons of whiskey were smuggled onto the campus. Earlier in 1826, the Academy's strict superintendent, Colonel Thayer, had banned the purchase, storage and consumption of alcohol due to concerns about drunkenness among the cadets. However, the new rules were ignored by the cadets who sought to continue the annual tradition of drinking homemade eggnog on Christmas Eve. Late on the 22nd of December, three cadets crossed the Hudson River and bought whisky from Martin's Tavern. Having paid the security guard at the academy to ignore their smuggling efforts, they hid the alcohol in one of their rooms in the North Barracks, while another cadet successfully obtained another gallon from another local tavern. The party began at around 10pm on the evening of the 24th of December in North Barracks room number 28, followed by another party in room number 5. Jefferson Davis, who was later elected President of the Confederate States of America, was one of the cadets in attendance. The party continued without much incident until around 4am when noise from the increasingly drunken revellers woke teaching officer Captain Ethan Allen Hitchcock, who went to investigate and then ordered the drunken cadets back to their rooms. Incensed by this response, at least 70 drunken cadets instead launched the infamous riot in which they brandished weapons, broke windows and even assaulted two senior officers. Of the rioters, only 19 of them faced disciplinary action. Beginning on the 26th of January 1827, their trials resulted in guilty verdicts for all the defendants although eight of them were then saved from expulsion. 